All right, hi everybody. So we got a Cummins X15 here, a uh, bad oil pressure sending unit or oil pressure sensor. So I'm gonna show you what to look for to see if yours is, uh, if it, I mean, obviously if it's bad, you know it's bad, or um, some signs to tell when you may wanna go ahead and replace it. So here's the new sensor, pretty simple. These do have kind of a weird plug that, and it, this is in a very tight spot. So the plug is similar to this. You have to pull this cap off and then um, like most of the sensors on these trucks, there's a little lock. They have to stick a little screwdriver in there and push it at the same time and unlock it to get it off. The problem is, is that this is in a very tight spot. Uh, so we're gonna go and show you where this uh, oil pressure sensor is. All right, so this is in a international, so it's a little bit tighter than a lot of truck. But here's your ECM and the oil pressure sensor is right behind the ECM. So here's the plug for it. And one of the ways you can tell if it's going bad or if uh, you might want to change it sooner than later, you notice there's grease and oil all over this. So that oil is actually leaking through the sensor, most likely. And that's when you start getting false readings um, or it can stop working completely. If you see a bunch of dirt and grease oil on this, that's a good indication that uh, you probably want to go and change that out. So pretty easy to change out. I mean, for the most part, I mean, like I said earlier, you have to get that lock cap off and unlock that sensor. And then all you need is a uh, socket to go in there, take the sensor out, put the new one in, go ahead and plug your plug back in and lock it and pretty well plug and play. Okay, so it's a pretty simple process. And it, like I said, it's really tight back there. So I'm not actually gonna video going through it because you're, you're just gonna see my hands you're not gonna see anything, so there's really no point. I hope this helps you guys out if you're having this issue, or if you see that, I'd probably recommend changing it before it fails completely, because obviously if the truck thinks that you don't have any oil pressure, you know, in some cases it will shut the truck down. So, so if you see that, get it changed out. Pretty much all I got for today. If you like videos like this, or it helps you out, uh, please like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell for the updates.